Yo, what's up guys? Uh today I'm playing some my career. Um I'm gonna be playing with my seven foot three tall center. 340 pounds. And I have no clue what his name is. I think it's like something Bellamy. Walt Bellamy. Walt Be Bellamy, that's what it is. Uh he's on his last game in college, I chose UConn because of Ray Ray and because oh of home purposes. Before. Home purposes. Um, uh, I'm FaceTiming this guy. Wait, hold on. His name is 2K Sports. And he does videos too, but he hasn't uploaded in a month because uh, he doesn't really care about anything. Yeah, I do. Then why haven't you uploaded in a month? Say hi, Tommy. Hello. Okay, you heard him. Alright, I gotta... Hold on. Alright, um, so let's get into the final game. Oh, wait, no. Wait, wait, what? Shabazz Napier? Shabazz Napier? Yeah. Get him. I thought you were talking about someone else like Shabazz Muhammad or something. Alright, let's go. I'm rolling with this team to the end, bro. You can Huskies! You can Huskies! I'm not in the mood. We're ready. Welcome, everyone. It's the night we've all been waiting for. The college tournament finale is upon us. And for two teams, that is the first tip off I lost. I just lost a tip off with them. And the energy is contagious here in the building. Hi, this is Kevin Harlan, joined by my Whatever, I'll just destroy them then. We'll I'm mad now. Taking on Don't you dare pass it inside. Don't you dare. Oh, you're done. Why would you foul him? I was going to stuff the kid. I was going to stuff the young man. Comes down to this exact moment. And you can get it on. It on. Every player here tonight feels the importance of this game like no other in their lives, really. A big key in coming through. In a big game like this, is how well you can compose yourself. All right, I gotta go. Let's get ready for the pressure of the big Wait, there's stage. football we'll tonight? Soon enough. Yeah. Which of Wait, isn't it every weekday? To harness all of that yeah. raw energy Dang it. Focus on getting the job done. Oh, okay. Let's check out Wisconsin's starting lineup. Right, see We've got see ya. He's out there with Hill. Kaminsky out there with Decker. And it's Evans in at the four spot. Bellamy with it. That's too easy. And one. Let's go. That's an A1. And it's three to two Huskies because I still haven't missed a free throw with them. Let's go. When I get in the NBA, I'll start missing a lot of free throws. He's really slow, though, so I need to upgrade his speed. I'm going to get this guy like a shooting shack slash Kareem. I'm going to get him to do hook shots, be as big as Shaq, and to shoot the ball. I'm going to get him to be able to do everything. It's going to be great, and I hope you guys will enjoy this series. There's an assist for your boy. He's got a good game coming. I can smell it. That well with a pass. And not many people know this, but but the Badgers do have one college title. What the heck kind of pass is that? Get that out of here! What are you doing? Why are you passing it inside to the seven foot three Goliath? Day no good. I will stuff anyone inside. Dang it, I missed them. <laughs> I jumped too early. So I've so today is the same day I or no the day after I recorded the uh, Cavs Warriors thing and uh, it uploaded today so you're seeing this the day that the Cavs Warriors thing uploaded and the day after I recorded it 
And I have a lot of videos planned, uh, so I'm going to be pre-recording them, so I'll be uploading daily. And, uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll hopefully be fun. Greg, you get the dun, feeling dun, that dun, it's dun, only dun, the beginning. Dun, I mean, the way dun, he plays and the accolades dun, he dun, has, dun, I mean, dun, you can dun, see him having a Give me the ball. What are you doing, you stupid piece of crap? Here's Hawkins. Oh, I, st I, I stuffed that kid. Get that out of here. I so stuffed ya. They, we need a timeout. Why did I say that? I don't even know. Dun, 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 dun. Wet like water right there. For the title here, he is trying to repeat what he did just a year ago. He was able to lead his high school to the PSAL championship. Mm -hmm. Greg, he was a four-time All-American selection in high school, and a unanimous one at that. He's won state titles before, but this is a different animal. Why is he holding school. it? Then he takes a three. What are you doing, young blood? I can bring the ball up. Pass it back to me. Or let it fly. Second shot opportunity. All right. Is that? Oh, it says wait. I thought it said... Cat, I thought it said see where, so it'd be Casper where. Fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Two shots. Oh my gosh, and it just hits him and he doesn't even care. All right, I'm not out. Wisconsin also making a switch. Kaminsky's checked in. And he's good on the second. What the heck was that? You see that little pass thing? <laughs> Wisconsin trails by six. Hey, take it away, take it away, take it away, take it away, take it away. Ah, I wanted that board. Chances. Almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just for three to keep him out of rhythm. Ah by Joseph, no good. Why do I keep doing the smooth thing? I'm, I'm he's like ah I'm just like stolen by Joseph. Oh just take it all the way. I won't even get in the middle of that. Oh he used to do a 360 in college. And that's the kind of play you just yes, he did. Let's go. Get hyped, my boy. We'll be doing some pick and fades now. Especially when you can't afford to give up any buckets. That's a nice lead now. Here's Fisher following the bucket by the Huskies. Hill with it. Picked up by Joseph. Get that out of here. Oh, get the that Huskies on offense. Come on. They're on a 13 to 4 run. Ooh. The big questions on everybody's mind in this game is stick whether it, or not I'm, I stick it too much because I hit the year, shot. That's that's what matters. I score for our team. I don't care if I don't move the ball. You stick it too much. Move the ball. You stay it too much. Scholastic aspect of collegiate sports, so it makes sense for him to think about staying beyond this season. Still, with Freak's draft stock rising, this could be his final game as a collegiate player. Again, not getting in the middle of that. But if you ever need me, like you can't get a basket, I'll be outside for the three. And Clark, that's been the story of this game so far. I mean, they cannot hand over any more easy points in the open floor. And the Badgers with possession here. Following the bucket by the Huskies, Hill drives in, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Hill's got his second bucket of the game to go. And really, the defense didn't do a lot to fight around that screen on that possession. Oh, we're just going to back him all the way down and do the spin and the layup, and it's in. He's very unstoppable. I am a big fan of McDonald's, and I just looked up their secret menu, and I have to say it actually sounds so good. He feeds it to Walker. The, the uh, Big Mac chicken, I'm a big fan of a Big Mac, but, you know, the, the patties are, the, like, they're so small, they have to be, like, pre-made or something, or, like, they have to be, like, disgusting or something. All I know is they're very unhealthy. There's something called a Big Mac chicken where you get a Big Mac, but it's with crispy chicken. I think it's crispy, I don't know. I just, I, I, I only seen a picture of it, and it looks so good. Right here on 
And it's not like skinny, like the little burger patties that you would get on a Big Mac. It's like real, like, it's it looks nice, so hopefully it's good. And then for your for, for fries, you can get Big Mac sauce with it. Just about ready to get going with the second half of a historical championship game. For those just tuning in, this is Kevin Harlan, pleased to be alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony as we get set to watch how the college basketball season will end. With us you winning it. Guys, how it'll end, it'll end with us winning it. This team winning. wanted in the first half. I mean, they didn't run away with the game, but they're in a really good spot to capture the title. These first five minutes in the second half are, are going to be huge. They know their opponent is going to come out strong and try to even things up. But if they can keep their cool, they'll be on their way, I think, to the title. Bellamy, he's in at center. Keith is out there with Martin. And it's Day in at the point guard position. And for the Badgers, we've got Kaminsky. Hawkins is out there with Hill. Then it's Decker, and it's Evans in at the four. On the four for UConn. Bellamy I was open. Jeez. And it's Joseph in at the small forward. Call that time on the way up. That'll give him I thought it was called on me. I, I was going to say I swatted that guy. Badgers shooting their third and fourth free throw. That's good Dang it. <laughs> um, being subbed out. All right. The, it's a 12-point game. With three and a half minutes to go, about Kaminsky double screen. For Decker. Loses Get his man off the screen. Lays it up and in. Decker's got his first points. Run! Give me the ball! <laughs> ah. Day kicks the belly. Uh. Ooh, half spin. Oh, why would you pass it over there? All right. Back to Bellamy. Post him up. Fake. Nice move. All right, go to the line. He'll make both because I always make him with him. Perfect release. Oh, I thought I was going to get back to back greens. I'll take, I'll take both free throws, though. Big men knocking down their free throws and can shoot the ball. As well. Yeah. Well, making a switch here. Joseph's checked in. And Wisconsin also dun, making a switch. Dun, 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 and Wisconsin dun, dun, dun. looking at who they've got. They've got Decker. Get that out. Is out there with Hawkins. Then it's Kaminsky and it's Evans in at the power forward. Here's Joseph. Hit that. Ah, I gotta and be the on the glass on too. Wisconsin trails by 12. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kev. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. Stolen by Mark. And they're running. Get that. Here's Day. Yeah, layup. That's good. That's good. Nice pass. Great catch. Even better fit. Here is Hawkins. Evans, right side. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, 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 Get that out. Let's go. And with this lead, it looks like they'll hold on for the title. A special moment for, for three. On the team. Come on. And really, what a Dude. For their star. Let's go. Get a block on defense now. Ah, oh, he's going to take that layup early in the possession. <laughs> Timeout, Huskies. He lived up to all of them. The Huskies making a switch here. Splitters checked in. <laughs> I'm out for the rest of the game. Yay! We won the championship. All right. Well, let's see what team I get drafted to. I hope I get drafted by the Celtics because they're my favorite team. Or Wade and the Heat. Or um, a good team. They will always have this moment in history to reflect upon. 
If I get drafted by the Warriors, I'll, I'll be happy. Because then I could be their starting uh, center. They, they can run small ball, spread the floor. I could just post up and get easy baskets. It would be really easy. Hello? Hey, Ma, it's me. Hey, Frequency. Hi, I got you on speakerphone. Okay, your sister there? Hey, Mama, I'm right here. Hey, baby, how you doing? All right, I guess we watch this cut scene. Hi, Mama. How you doing? I'm fine. Does she have to be here? Yes. Mr. Pagnati, the agent I was telling you about, he's in the room, too. How you doing, ma'am? I'm good. Nice to meet you. What a pleasure to finally meet the queen mother of this young, talented man, even if only by telephone. That's sweet. Hang on, Frequency. Here comes your father. All right. Hey, sorry I'm late. Hope everyone's well. How you hey, doing, Daddy. Mr. Hey. Bobs? I'm doing good. So let's get to it. Yeah, let's do this. We all know why we're here. This meeting is strictly confidential, 100% off the record. Didn't happen. We weren't even here. Capiche? Capiche means understand in Italian. Capiche? Capiche. Freak insisted that I have his entire family here. I think it's great that he has a good support system around him. I've been doing this a very long time. I work with some of the best. Now, let me rephrase that. I work with the best. And the best always seem to have a great support system around them. A family, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So let's cut to the chase. Leaving college early now and entering this year's NBA draft is the right move right now. And when you sign with me, Dom Pagnotti, as your agent, I will make sure you are well taken care of. I will make sure you are protected. With this freaking and vibing, yeah. I love it. Freaking and vibing. This freaking and vibing thing you do when you get hot freak, we're gonna make you more money off the court than you will on. We already have endorsements and things like that in mind, so. Cece, I said we because we're gonna do this together. We're a team. We're team freak. But freak, you need to be in the league first, right? That's why I'm here. Oh, yeah, I hear you, Mr. Pagnotti, but like I told you before, I already promised my parents four years of college. That's the plan, man. That's right. Plans change, change freak. freak. Listen. In life and in basketball, you need to adapt and change to the situation at hand. Now, even if you have the greatest coach and they draw up the greatest play and all the X's and O's make perfect sense on paper, you still need to react to what the defense shows you and then make your move. This is the right move. This is the right move now. And four years of college is a great plan for basically anybody. But you're not just anybody. You are the greatest collegiate talent I have ever seen shoot, dribble, pass, and defend the basketball my entire time on this great planet Earth. Now, Miss Martha, Mr. Pete, I have seen so many of the greats jump right from high school to the pros. Freak, you've at least experienced college. You know what that is. You've been there. You've done that. I am offering you now a chance at the experience of a lifetime. Do you know how many people would love to be in those Jordans right now? Yeah, Freak, I mean, what if you get hurt? You remember how you came down on your ankle in that game earlier this year? Oh, yeah, but I was nothing. Right, we know it was nothing, but next time it could be something. I saw that. Good game, but bam! Just like that, and you could be flipping burgers. Well, maybe not flipping burgers. Maybe you're the manager or assistant manager at some burger joint. Maybe I do a favor and make a call, and you're a delivery boy at Sal's Famous Pizzeria. But the bottom line is, you will be a long, long, long ways away from signing multi-million dollar contracts with me, mm. Don Pagnotti, as your mm. agent. So it's all about the money, right? When was it not all about the money? Money isn't everything. No, it isn't, sir, and no disrespect was meant. But freak, money is freedom the freedom of choice, the freedom to live. Money is the difference between renting and owning, between being the waiter and being waited on. It's the difference between being the chauffeur or being chauffeured. Now, do you want to be a chauffeur? This here is a contract. This makes me your agent. Sign on the dotted line, and I will take you and your family to the promised land. Like I said, Mr. Pagnotti, it's not all about the money. Pete, let the man finish. He made his point. He's finished. Aren't you finished? I said my piece, but I know I'm right. You guys should talk. Pete, what if frequency does get hurt? Shouldn't he take this opportunity now? What if the boy goes pro, gets hurt, and then doesn't have a college degree? Look how hard we work for him to get to where he is. But college isn't for everybody. Pete, you didn't go. That's why we work so hard for him. I'm just saying, I mean, if he's ready to do I didn't want to interrupt this, later. but I understand where he's coming from. Like, right. you should go to college and get a degree. But you can go back to college. Like, if you get hurt, you can go back to college and get a degree. But if you're in college, you can't get drafted by the NBA when you're, like, 30 years old. So if you go in the NBA and get hurt, you can get your degree. But if you get, if you get your degree, you might not be able to go pro in the NBA. So I think he should go in 
and then like just see what happens. Thank you, Yvette. You're welcome. I mean, I've played my career before, so I know what happens after this, but that's just my opinion. I think he should. I think he would go in and just see what happens. I mean, I know he does. I, I mean, I, if you haven't seen this, I know what happens, but if. Like, you could go back to college if you get hurt and just get your degree, and then if it's, like, career-ending injury and you get hurt and it's career-ending, you're fine. Like, you could just, you have your degree, you can go do another job or whatever, but I would take this chance and go pro. I'm not 1,000% convinced in my mind and in my heart that we could get you drafted. First overall, I wouldn't be like this. This is the play. This is the move, freak. You've got to listen to me. I absolutely hear you, but who are they to tell me who I can't hang with my brother? No, Freak, you need to listen to him. I've been telling you the same exact thing. Mr. Dom, Frequency and Victor grew up together. They're best friends. We took the boy in and practically adopted him. Martha, I told you that boy ain't nothing but trouble. He, he's family. Okay, but that's my boy, and he agrees with y'all. It's not about agreeing with Vic. We're trying to prepare you for your future. You know, but it is his future. So this is none good. of your business. You still, Excuse you me? Don't even yeah. Yeah. You still have a decision yeah. to make. Sign with no, me, yes or no. Can I just, can I just interrupt for one sec? Everybody just settle down, please. Now, I appreciate you all taking the time in this heated discussion, but the truth of the matter is, there's only one person in the room that can make this decision. I like this part because it's classic arguing, and then someone who's not part of the argument's like, stop arguing, and everyone stops. It's not your mother's or your sister's or mine. It's not your girlfriend. It's not Mr. Pagnotti's, and it definitely ain't Victor's. This is your decision, son. So you tell us what you want to do. I need 30 seconds, freak. Okay. I have four beautiful children, and I want each of them to go to college and graduate. But if you walked up to any one of those four children right now and said, I will give you a contract that's worth 100, 200, 300 million dollars, I would say, bypass college. You can always go back. I want you My to point. graduate. I want you to get your doctorate. I want to call you Dr. Freak. But you need to understand this. Now, you can go all over this beautiful country that we live in and go into any of the major universities. You will find people that are 30, 40, 50, 60, say 80 years old, and you will find them graduate. But if you live to be 500 years old, you will never see ever, ever somebody 40, 50, 60 years old being drafted from college into the NBA. We need to strike while the iron is hot. This is your life. We will get you drafted first overall. You will be up there with all the big names. I'm not talking first rounder. I'm talking first overall. Listen to me. This is what Mr. I do. I am the best at what I you do. Have had Nobody your 30 is better. Seconds plus. Miss Martha, I am sorry. You Mr. just need Bagnotti, to understand. Would you please let my wife speak? I apologize. Frequency. Baby, what do you want to do? Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have Cece go through this contract front to back. I'm going to think about it, sleep on it, pray on it, and I will call you in the morning. All right. Listen, Mr. Pete, Miss Martha, it was a pleasure meeting the two of you over telephone, and I look forward to meeting you both in person. Remember, and now we see who I get drafted with. And now we see what team I get drafted to. Okay. All right, Mom, Pops, I'm going to call you guys later. I love you. I love you, I right, love you too, son. Bye. Celtics, Celtics, Celtics. We met working at the post office together. Oh, there's still another cut. And I was a carrier. And uh, I asked her out to lunch one time and take her for a bagel around the corner from where we worked. A bagel? A bagel. Yeah. With cream cheese? Cream cheese. Split down the middle? Split down the middle. Love at first sight. Yeah? I believe that. It was true. It happened to me. Good evening and welcome to the NBA Draft. Let's see. Oh, I get nervous. All right. I'm going to have commentary on for this one. Carl Anthony Towns. No way I go first. Carl Anthony Towns is pick number one. Then D'Angelo Russell. Then Johill Okafor. Yeah, there is there was no way. I'm not a top three draft pick. I already know it. I'm probably not even a top ten. Or a top twenty. I don't even I don't know. 86 overall. Last time he was oh no, no, I think that's right. With the second pick in the NBA draft. 
Wait, what? Oh, I thought I thought I thought that that pick was me. I was like, oh, I got picked second overall going to the Lakers. That would have been that would have been cool. Even though the Lakers aren't good, but that still would have been cool. I would have gotten a lot of playing time. With the third pick in the NBA draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select. Jahil Okafor, yep, I was right. I don't know what team I'm gonna go to. Honestly, what team do I think I'm gonna go to? I say I get drafted between 10th and 20th overall. With the fourth pick in the NBA draft, the New York Knicks select. I'm the same height as him and I'm more pounds and I was probably more of a beast so I should have went there so I should be coming up soon with the fifth pick in the end all right now they're just gonna go fast so maybe I'm soon Mario Hazonia it's me Mario with the sixth pick all right Kings I, I wouldn't want to go to the Kings Seven. Nuggets? Are you kidding me? Walt Bellamy. Walt Bellamy. No, not the Nuggets. Ah. At least I get a lot of playing time, probably. 55 overall. Okay. I said between 10 and 20, so... Let's do this, young man. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Frequency Vibrations. <laughs> welcome aboard, young man. Yes, welcome aboard. <laughs> wow. Wow. <sighs> this is bananas. Take your time, baby. Thanks, Ma. OK, so I first want to thank everyone who made this possible. Mom, Dad, I couldn't have done this without you. <laughs> I like to thank my lady, Yvette. My dude, Vic. Hey, yo, I got you, man. <laughs> hey, all them in the building all day, yo. All right. Yeah, I love you, man. I love yeah. you in town. Okay. Hey, he, he, he's like my brother. <laughs> oh, gosh. And also, want to thank my sister, Cece, who was also my manager. <laughs> uh, Swish. Love you. <laughs> I love you more. And my agent, Mr. Don Pagnotti himself. You're the man, baby. <laughs> I guess I will take some questions now. Yes, ma'am. How did you get the nickname Freak? A lot of people don't know this, but Freak is short for my very first nickname, Frequency Vibrations. <laughs> yeah, true story. I'd like to introduce our mother so she could tell it. Go ahead, you know, mama. Tell her, mama. You know, mama. Come on, mama. <laughs> okay, no, mama. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Frequency and Cece are fraternal twins. And so when I was pregnant, one of them kept kicking and jumping around all the time. So my husband, Pete, put headphones on my belly and played reggae music. Hence the name Frequency Vibrations. <laughs> we shortened it to Freak. How did you know who was kicking? A mother knows. A mother always knows. Are you ready for a photo op? Yes. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the next NBA superstar, Frequency Vibrations. Yes! Go ahead, son. Thank you all for coming. We will be available for one-on-ones in the back. Good job. Well done. Congratulations, well done. sir. Let's get to game time next on the, sh the, the, the uh, my career thing. Well, I hope you enjoyed my last college game winning the championship. Uh, you got a glimpse of what my guy's going to look like when I get some upgrades, but... My first year is going to be hard because, obviously, you know, um, he's, he's going to be trash. <laughs> he's going to be really slow, won't be able to make layups. He'll be even slower than he was, but there it is. And I actually do get number 13. I was fearing that someone maybe would have been number 13, but let's just see how good this guy's looking. Nice little post fade. Oh, my, my, my controller battery's getting low. I got to go get that afterwards. Boom! 
All right, let's see if I can, uh, no, wait, uh, bang, ah, all right, so he's going to struggle at threes, I already know that, D minus inside, mid-range F, and then everything else F, let's end it off with a don't, notification from system, yeah, no, duh, your, your controller batteries are low, that's why I just died, space, there we go, all right, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, leave a like for more, and, uh, yeah, next video is going to be the, uh, Cavs versus Warriors game two, I will be playing as the Cavs, and then I'll be switching to the Warriors for two games in that series, I'm gonna do a setup guide on the, uh, Giant, because Tommy, my friend 2K Sports, Tommy, who was just on FaceTime with me, uh, you can go check him out uh, on YouTube as well, uh, he actually just got Black Ops 3, and he's gonna be getting the giant soon, he only has Shadows of Evil, so he's kinda, like, bored already, cause Shadows of Evil isn't really that fun of a map, but I'm gonna, for a heads up, like, so that he just knows, like, right when he jumps in, how to set up, and I will be showing you guys both the easiest strategy, and then another easy strategy that's almost just as easy probably even easier i don't i don't know i haven't tried them out uh that's also faster and it involves in the spawn room and obviously this has probably been like thought of before but um just expect the video on that and yeah hopefully i can get some first room rounds going so that um i could upload some of that too so yeah uh hope you enjoy it and i'll catch you in the next one peace